story tonight looks at questions over how the state would pay for a new wastewater treatment plant up in Niagara Falls. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Kelly Dodzik. Mary Alice has the week off. This, of course, following the highly publicized images of the sewage discharges near the Maid of the Mist docks and the fall. Two your sides, Ron Plant spoke with a state senator about how the funding just might flow from Albany. Ron, what'd you find out? Well, Scott, Lieutenant Governor Hochul's announcement yesterday of $20 million in state funding to be set aside for the wastewater plant was listed as a proposal under Governor Cuomo's State of the State speech, which will be formally introduced on January 3rd, but lawmakers would have to approve it. One of our local state senators trying to find out more about it. So it, it was a surprise. Uh, you know, I had no advance notice, so there was no previous discussion. While he's a Republican uh, who's surprised. part of the loyal opposition to the Cuomo administration, State uh, Senator Robert Ort says the plant for which the state is now proposing to spend $20 million in an initial upgrade of the old carbon-based facility is in his district and is obviously in need of major work, as we heard again from the Niagara Falls Water Board, which runs it. It's history. It's, it needs to be upgraded. And uh, we do have a, chem a chemical type plant instead of a biological plant on our waste systems. The question is how much work and how much money will be needed to make sure the plant does not produce discharges like this again into the Niagara River like it was in full view of visitors and the world. $500,000 will be spent on studies to produce some answers on the scope of the work. As for the funding stream, is it from an overall water system infrastructure plan previously okayed in Albany? Initially, my thought was this would be out of the $2.5 billion that we approved as a part of this year's budget, which of course has rolled out over five years. Um, and I was, in a way, I was surprised to hear, really this is a, a proposal of funding for the 2018 budget. Actually, it's a grant to the water board to begin work. In essence, a down payment. The state can be a part of the solution, but we can't fund all those improvements. So ultimately, Niagara Falls residents, you know, rate payers, i.e. the folks who pay the rates, uh, some of that money will have to be reinvested in infrastructure improvement. Now, Senator Ord feels lawmakers from other parts of the state will approve this $20 million in funding for the Niagara Falls water treatment plant because they recall that notoriety in the international coverage of the dark, dark water near the iconic tourist destination of the falls. And a state assemblyman, Morinello, who also represents the falls, told me he's also seeking clarification of the funding from state officials, so he did not want to do an interview this evening. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.